Good morning, Wolfpack. My name is Eric Webb, the NCSU Weather Center. You can see behind we have a really funny picture of El Nino versus the blob. You can see El Nino here represented by this Godzilla-looking creature fixing to eat the blob. And in fact, it did eat the blob this past year with a really massive El Nino, really large Aleutian low that stirred up all those waters in the northeastern Pacific and cooled off the sea surface temperatures. Now, looking at the upcoming week ahead, you can see the headlines. Beautiful and seasonable weather here for Central North Carolina. Warming up those because they're across the week and across Central North Carolina. And unsettled those we get later on toward Friday, but we should clear out though just in time for Easter. Looking at the class by class forecast, temperatures in the mid 40s during the morning, warming up to around 60, then into the mid 60s as we get in the early to mid afternoon. Looking at the current uh, frost, uh, frost advisory across all Central North Carolina, you can see temperatures forecast to get down in the mid 30s here and we did in fact see that across m most of the areas particularly in the outlying areas outside of the triangle this is for uh, protecting vegetation so make sure to bring those inside otherwise you shouldn't have any problems with that as we get later on in the week with temperatures warming up well into the 70s now satellite picture across central north carolina you can see uh, very clear skies dominating the, the region a few extra clouds off to the south and east um, th this is not going to be any big deal this is with that that past front that moved through the area otherwise no big deal to our area. If you look at the water vapor satellite across the country, you can see a lot of dry air here over the south and eastern United States. But look back to our west, over the inner mountain west here and central Rockies. This storm system is going to emerge out and will produce a big swath of snow around the I-90, I-94 corridor and bring a trailing cold front that will give us a chance of showers and a, perhaps a few thunderstorms as we get in toward Friday. Looking at Climos Corner, back on this date in March 1983, we had a pretty large snowstorm strike central North Carolina with as much as 8 inches of snow in the triangle, up to 10, though, as we look down toward the Charlotte area and down and toward Lumberton. So very big snowstorm. In fact, it was the only snowstorm in that year of the Super Nino year of 1982-83. Now, speaking of Super Nino, we take a look at the IRI INSO forecast. You can see we're starting out in Super Nino conditions, but we're going to see those uh, the Nina region is cooling off and eventually perhaps turning into a La Nina as we get later into the fall and upcoming winter. In fact, looking at some of the research I've done on INSO, if we look at and, and just divide this up in terms of strong El Ninos and really strong El Ninos, these are called Super Ninos, taking a look at those and you can see Super Ninos like this year, they tend to drop off very rapidly and produce multi-year La Ninas in the following year or two. Whereas strong Ninos, there has a very wide range of solutions, but some seeing Nino conditions lingering into the following year. Now, looking at the current satellite picture across the United States, you can see again this area of low pressure over the uh, southern, southern Canadian Rockies. This is going to move off to the north, bring a trailing cold front, and another storm will emerge out of the into the central plains and uh, northern central Great Lakes. You can see that and producing a nice swath of snow around the I-90 corridor from Minneapolis, St. Paul, the upper peninsula of Michigan, and back in toward Wyoming. Now looking at today's forecast, temperatures in the mid-60s, sunny skies, seasonable temperatures, otherwise uh, winds out of the southwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. And as you look in toward tonight, mostly clear and cool, lows in the lower to middle 40s, winds still out of the south, about 5 to 10 miles per hour. Now tomorrow we're going to see those winds pick up at around 10 to 20. Sunny skies, much warmer temperatures, high around 76. Looking into the week ahead, temperatures again warming up as we get toward Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, nearing 80, whereas we're going to see a chance of rain here with that cold front I mentioned around Friday with temperatures in the lower to middle 70s. We should clear out just in time for Easter. Now, looking beyond this upcoming week, as we get in toward early to middle April, we're going to see another pretty decent shot of cool air moving to the central eastern United States. Most of that cool air should remain confined to the northern tier of the United States and south central Canada. However, it will definitely keep us our temperatures in check. In fact, looking at the week three to four forecast from the NOAA, you can see below normal temperatures and near, near to below normal temperatures across the central eastern United States with above normal temps from the Rockies and points west.